Greetings and welcome to another video. I do want to warn you that this is not one of my normal videos. This has nothing to do with Second Life. This is extremely personal, but it is something that I wanted to share and also to show that it gives the true meaning of what Christmas is all about. Some of you know that this past end of September, October, I adopted a dog and a cat from a local animal shelter. And this animal shelter was in a video by the YouTuber Pinball Preparedness, as you can see. He is in my area. I live in East Tennessee. And my mom watches his channel. And when she saw that our shelter uh, was in the video, she told me, and I was like, oh, so I just got done watching it. And yes, I was full of emotion. And because I have personal experience, he took all of his donations that he got from his channel for this year, which was about $15,000. And he divided up the donations to local services. Uh, in the first part of his video, he shows um, their where he donated food and toys to a local service. And then 5,000 of that money uh, went to the Union County Humane Shelter. And this is part, part of the video where they give a tour of the shelter and where he hands over the check to Janet, which is a person that helped me and a lot as with other people that work there. They're, they're great people. I just wanted to show this. Um, again, it has nothing to do with Second Life. Of course, I will put Pinball Preparedness link in the description below so you can go there and you can watch the entirety of the video there. So let's go ahead and get to it. This is the shelter, which is the best shelter in my area. Animal shelter. Now, I just want to say that the parrots are not up for adoption. They are in-house. They are well taken care of. There's three of them. There's Stevie, which was the first one. Then there's Big Bird. And this one is Tongo. Uh, Tongo is a little bit standoffish, but I find that Stevie is the most talkative. And uh, he, he's a great conversationalist. This is the cat cottage. The cat cottage is awesome. It's where the older cats go that are not kittens. The kittens have their own um, section inside uh, the shelter. 
and all the kittens are socialized. They sleep together, eat together, play together. It's wonderful. The cat cottage, you can go in and there's rockers on the in screen porch area there. And there's rockers in the side. And well, you'll see, I enjoyed my time at the cat cottage very much. All right, so as soon as it comes time to present the check to, this is Jan here. Of course, I forgot to turn my microphone on, so you get this overdub later, but we gave the Humane Society, the animal shelter there, a check for $5,000 from all of you. So that was very appreciative there. Tango, of course, Tango appreciated it a whole lot. He was squawking away. And I did get a chance to talk to Tammy, the director, and she was very thankful as well from all of you. Well, there you have it, gang. That's Holiday Drive 2023. Uh, I just want to say from the bottom of my heart, thank you to everybody who donated. Thank you for everybody for well wishes and support and everything, not only for me, but for everything that you guys did for the people that need help or the kids that might not have had something under the tree, or all the animals that now have a little bit more hope going forward here, you know, more food, better shelter, shots, whatever it would be. But I wanted to say a special thank you, not only to all of those that you donated, but to Mr. and Mrs. Mountaintop Preps, to Brett, to our volunteers who I will leave nameless, saw them, but in the interest of OPSEC. Wanted to say thank you to the folks at Grocery Outlet for all their help uh, in buying all that food. Uh, and just, of course, to everybody for what they did for helping out here. You made Christmas what it's supposed to be. Well, out. And that is what can happen when a community gets together and they put that money back into the community. And um, I don't want to get too emotional here because I know most of y'all don't like it when I do. However, I felt this was important to share. This is totally personal. And I want to say that I am absolutely thankful that there are people that give back to the communities around here in the East Tennessee area, the surrounding counties. Maggie, well, August Maggie is doing well. So is Kitten Gwen. She is growing. My quality of life has improved. Now I have more of a reason to get up because I feel more confident with having Maggie and uh, been able to go outside more often, obviously, because I have to and actually enjoy it. And I'm not so paranoid. I'm just thankful the shelter where I adopted two wonderful fur babies got a great great christmas gift this year and that will help them to continue 
to help the animals that are there and the animals that will come in. Um, I'm not sure if I ever said how uh, Maggie was brought to the shelter, but uh, I'll say it now. So there was a woman and she kept, and she was driving to work and she had been driving by this place. It's um, Jobo Mountain. It's on the border of Union County and Granger County. And this, this place, a lot of people abandoned their animals there. And Maggie was one of them. She was tied up to a tree and somebody had, whoever tied her up had, put out a bag of old Roy dog food, which is not the greatest of dog foods. Sorry, but it's not. And um, the woman drove by two days. It was like, that dog's still there. On the third day, she was like, she's still there. So the woman stopped and brought her to the shelter. This was this past August of 2023. And, you know, down here in the South, it gets hot. And there was no sign of water when Maggie was tied up to this tree. I adopted her September the 29th, brought her home a week later. There's nothing wrong with Maggie. She is a gentle giant. She's 72 pounds. She's part uh, Brittany Lab, maybe. But I think she has more basset in her because she has a long body and a big bo booty butt. Some of y'all have seen pictures of her, so you know her markings. But she's just a wonderful, wonderful dog. Uh, don't know why anyone, anyone would abandon such a good dog. But they did. It was Janet who was in the video, um, they knew that Maggie was the dog for me even before I did. They knew from my application because I had put, I was diagnosed with PTSD and, you know, I had to leave my, my fur baby in England behind and how it's taken me a long time to be ready for another dog and all of this. And they showed a great personal interest and they do that with everyone. And they absolutely do make sure that the right animal goes to the right person. Just wanted to share that to show that, you know, when you donate to animal shelters, you're helping not only the quality of life of the animals in that shelter, but the ones that will be coming in and also making a improvement to those that need a special fur baby in their life to help them cope like me. Thank you for listening. And uh, again, um, pinball's link will be in the description below. Thank you. God bless.